Welcome to our Google AdWords 102 tutorial. In part 8, we'll show you how to create AdWords reports. As well as the information that Google AdWords provides you through their interface, you can also create reports that are much more detailed to keep you right on top of what's happening with your advertising campaign. And this video will show you how to do this. Start with clicking on the Reports tab, and then on Create a Report. There's a huge amount of flexibility here, as you will see. I won't talk you through every single option, because as you'll see, there's the potential for hundreds of different types of reports you can create with all of the options you have available. You may want to play around with different report settings, to see what gives you the most relevant information for your business. Let's just go through a demonstration of how easy it is to create these reports. First is Report Type. The options are Site Keyword Performance, Ad Performance, URL Performance, Ad Group Performance, and so forth. In this instance, I'll choose Ad Group Performance. Note that the explanation is that this allows you to view ad performance data for one or more of your campaigns. Step two is view the unit of time. Do I want a summary? Do I want hourly or daily? And so on. By allowing you to select the increment in which you want to review your data, you can select how wide or narrow a time frame you want to see what's happening in your account. I'll just stick with summary. OK, date range. Again, you can select the time frame, and for this example, I'll choose All Time. Campaigns and Ad Groups. You can manually select your ad group from a list, if you wish, by clicking here. And that will display all your different campaigns and ad groups, as it says here. You can select certain ones to test by clicking Add. Or you can remove them, if you wish. In this example, I'll stick with all campaigns and all their ad groups. Step 3. Here are the advanced settings, which are optional. You can add or remove columns by clicking here, as you can see. You will receive information on the checked columns, so you can select how much or how little information you want. You can see here that we're set up to receive information on the campaign, the ad group, impressions, average cost per click, click-through ratio, and so forth. You can select or deselect other options, and you can see that the change takes effect immediately in this line up here. If I were to deselect these two, you'll see that's not allowed because one or the other is required for the report type. But if we get rid of the campaign level of detail, you see that the campaign option has disappeared here. And if I select it, you'll see that it returns. That's how you can select exactly how your report is going to look. For our example, I'll just stick with the default settings. You can choose to filter your results if you desire. In this case, you can show only ad groups that match the following criteria. Ad distribution is one of search or content. If you wish to add more filters, you can click on Add another restriction, and here you see Impressions, and we can choose Is Less Than, Equals, or Is Greater Than. I'll say Is Less Than 100. For our example, however, I'm not going to filter results, so I'll just click on Remove, and Remove again. Step 4 is Name Your Report. Ad Group Report is just fine for our needs. Template. If I want to save this as a template to make the whole process quicker in the future, and let's say I do, click on Yes. Do I want to schedule this report to run automatically? Why not? Let's set it to run every day. Do I want to be notified by email whenever it runs? I'll say No but you can select that if you wish to receive an email, and you can select what format you want your report in as an attachment. 
In this instance, we'll turn off the email option and create report. You see that the report is in progress, and you'll note that the system gives you a summary of all the selections you made. You can create as many reports as you want. It's being created, and while it's doing that, I can click on Create Another Report and go through the whole process again if I wish to create multiple reports. As far as I know, you can create as many reports as you want to find out exactly what's happening with your account. Let's go back to Report Center. Status is pending, so it should shortly be available. OK, there it is. Report is now complete. Last five reports. Your last five reports are always saved here, and as you can see, you can view or download them at any time. This line gives you a bit of information about the status of your report. And there's the saved template. I can edit it, or I can run it again now, or I can delete it. Now let's click on this latest report, which I've just created. I can view the report or download the report. Let's view it initially, so I'll open it up in a new window, and let's see how it looks. And here it is. It gives me all the information that I asked for based on the options I chose. It can be directly downloaded to the various formats listed here, or I can close this window and download it. In this instance, I'll download in CSV format for Excel and just save it to the desktop. So I'll click on Save to Disk and then save it to the Windows desktop. Of course, you can save it to any location you choose. Save and it's done. Now I've gone to my Windows desktop, and there's the report. It's in CSV format, so we can work with it in Excel and format it within Excel as we choose, but again, that's just one download format option. Looking at the formats, you can select for download. There's CSV for Excel, Standard CSV, and other formats including XML format. If you click here for more information about the formats, you get detailed information about the various types so you can select the one that would be best for your needs. I would say that in many instances, if you have Excel, CSV for Excel is probably one of the most convenient formats if you want to work with the reports directly on your computer. Alternatively, you can select Standard CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Values, which basically means that all the information is there, and each column is separated by a comma, so it's a very basic kind of file format, and you can even open it in Microsoft Word and convert the commas into a table that you can then view in Word. So that's an overview of how you can work with the Reports area within Google AdWords. As you've seen, the reports can present you with a huge amount of data in almost any form you want broken down by almost any time scale, down to hourly if you wish. This information can be hugely valuable to you, especially if you have a very busy AdWords account and need to delve into the specifics of certain ad groups to see what's working and what isn't working with your advertising.